in a time of unprecedented peace and prosperity, in an era of common ease and comfort, we see around us men crumbling to their own emotions, men lacking the backbone to stand for something firmly and honorably, men sinking in their own deception and decay. We are all aware of such a state, friend, both you and me. All of us have been there, embracing comfort, making choices out of personal convenience and pursuing short-term pleasure and relief. And all of us know about the emptiness of such actions and the lack of fulfillment that such efforts provide. But if you wish to become a great man, you will need to avoid such a life of disgraceful ease and you will need to embrace life's challenges and struggles. Because a life without adversity will make you a weak and dull man. It is only in times of unrest and struggle that true manhood is forged and displayed. It is only through adversity that your life as a man can have meaning. Only when facing triumphantly the hardships and misfortunes of your existence can you be certain that you can hold your ground and back up your convictions. You think of yourself as of a great man, but how do you know for certain if fate doesn't give you the opportunity of showing your worth? And even if it does, how can you be convinced of such a statement if you do not accept your struggles and challenges, if you do not push yourself to overcome them? The lives of men are different, just like yours is different than mine. If you were fortunate, as they say, to never face calamities and trials that will break you to your knees and shatter you completely, congratulations on your easy life. But I judge you as unfortunate because you have never been unfortunate. You have passed through life without an antagonist, without someone or something to push against. And no one will ever know what you can do, not even yourself. For if you want to know yourself, you must be tested. To find out what you can do, you must be willing to try. You must be willing to voluntarily present yourself in the face of misfortune and seek the opportunity to put forth your worth. Remember, friend, that a great man will rejoice in adversity, and his true worth is eager for danger, thinking rather of his goal than of what he may have to suffer, since even what he will have to suffer is part of his glory. Never shrink in fear in front of the harsh and cruel challenges of life, whatever they may be, because even pain, suffering and disaster are virtues in disguise. Cruel fortune bears hardly on you if you are inexperienced, but have the strength of will to not back down in front of the adversities of life. For you are wrong if you believe that any man is excused from illness, hostility or hardship. Even the man who has prospered his whole life will have his share one day. As good as life may be, friend, prepare yourself for the worst. Flee luxury, walk away from constant good fortune from which your mind grows soft because if nothing in your life intervenes to remind you of your commonality, you will sink into a coma of self-inflated flattery. Embrace adversity and challenge in your life and do not become a man that shields himself at all times from discomfort, whose body is always kept warm and whose belly is always full since you will be at great risk of being hurt by the smallest breeze. All excesses are hurtful, friend, but the most dangerous is unlimited good fortune. It excites your brain, it invokes vain fantasies in your mind, and it will cloud in a deep fog of pleasure and comfort the boundary between falsehood and truth. How will you ever know in what spirit you will face poverty if you always bathe in wealth? How will you know with what firmness you will face disgrace and hatred if you refuse to challenge anything? How will you know the courage in your heart if you have never stood for something true to your soul? Think, friend, would it not be better to summon your virtues and values, your skills and expertise, to put them to trial, to endure everlasting hardship and to be certain in the end that whatever still stands represents you as a man completely? rather than to be bursting with unlimited blessings that will weaken you just as water weakens a paper towel. Remember that no proof of virtue is ever gentle and just like a teacher or a coach that requires most effort from the man of whom they have the surest hopes, so does life require you to endure the hardships and blows thrown your way so that one day you can call yourself a man. I dare you, friend, if you are scratched and torn by life, if you are pushed to your mental and physical extremes, if pain and blood and tears are your daily reality, bear it. Since it is not cruelty but a struggle, and the more frequently you engage with it, the stronger you shall be. 
Become familiar with exposure to danger and pain. Harden your body and your mind to match the challenges that you encounter and observe how you evolve into a man that is contempt of any adversity. Dare to be bold and never view your challenges as disadvantages and understand that your experience of facing and overcoming them is one of your biggest assets because every difficulty, every calamity, every misfortune carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. All the adversity that you will have in your life, all your troubles, all your obstacles will strengthen you as a man even if you may not realize it when it happens. If only you will dare to face them boldly, honestly and with the heart of a lion that will never give up until all the work and struggle that he needs to put in is done. Adversity is like a strong wind that will tear away from you everything but the things that cannot be torn so that you will see for yourself what kind of a man you really are. Are you bold enough to face the adversity in your life or will you hide away in fear? The choice is yours to make.